All right, hey, Jay Nicholson, Chris Daughters at the Catisfy. We're going to tie a steelhead tube leech using a pro tube micro tube. This is a steelhead fly. It's a steelhead fly. It's a king salmon fly. It's just an all around effective, it's a big profile, bright fly. And we're going to use some pseudo hackle. Here's what it looks like. It comes on a pretty long strip. Uh, edging at both sides and some of it's going to be kind of twisted up like this throw it in a pan of water let it soak for several hours and drape it over your dish rack and most of it will come out nice and smooth then you trim the edge off one side and you have a spay-ish type of hackle there you, you go so do you have to soak it or can you just work with it uh, you can work with it but uh, trust me, it's it's uh, it's nicer if you soak it and and it, it's it's nicer to work with a piece that looks like this rather than a piece where the ends are all kind of crumpled up. Um, at least I find it so. Okay. Um, and it's a it's a small price to pay for getting something that's. And you can like taper that because it's. That's that's exactly right. Now I'm not tapering it, but you can. And I'm going to tie, and, and so I have a P, I've cut it, all the fibers off this part. I'm going to tie that in here. And this is ultra chenille in a flow orange, fluorescent orange, not a hot orange, because I don't want to get that bright. Um, and this is, uh, I used ultra chenille instead of regular medium chenille. So I, I don't want to build up the body too much. How much is too much? Oh, depends on the eye of the beholder. This uh, pseudo hackle is interesting stuff. It is. It's slim. It's like winding on it. There goes my tube. Didn't quite put it on there firmly enough. It's going to provide some color contrast and some wiggle without without uh, providing bulk. So this fly is going to sink quite nicely. But <laughs> look at that stuff. It's pretty cool stuff. Yeah, and it's not quite as massive as like the polar chenille. No, no, absolutely. So, there, I mean, you, you have a lot of visibility there and a lot of wiggle. So now I'm going to throw on a hot orange uh, marabou feather. And this is, uh, you learn when you, de you deal with a lot of marabou, this particular batch has very thick quills at the base. So I'm just going to use the part where the quill is not as... Now, if I'd wanted to strip that off, I could have stripped that off and spun it um, with the Petagene Magic Tool. Um, I could have just tied it on in a clump. And I'll show you. Here's some Dr. Slick cutters, nippers, I can actually use these. Sometimes these center quills are so thick that they're difficult to use your hackle pliers with. They're just too bulky for your hackle pliers to get a good grip. So that's where I like to use these Dr. Slicks. Now this fly is going to have a lot of breathing But it's very light, and it's going to be really easy to cast. And you're, it's, it's going to sink because of your sink tip, not because of your weighting of the fly. If you want the weighting of the fly itself to sink it, then you'd want to use the Pro Tube drop weights. Now I'm going to add some, a couple. I'm topping a couple of different colors of ostrich. And this is 
a shrimp pink or faux orange. It's it's not real bright, but as I like to say, it's just bright enough. And I like to throw in a little bit of white too. Yeah, see that? Remember all our steelhead flies that had a white wing? Like, try a bucktail royal coachman. It was a great steelhead fly. This is sort of uh, Sylvie's tube snakeish. Absolutely, it is. So I just want to, I want to trim these. butts of this ostrich roll back a little bit because I'm getting ready here. I don't want a lot of crystal flash. You know, I, I spend a lot of time varying between two and three strands. Two or three strands doubled over really shows. And I make these nice and long. And so again, I've said this is, uh, this is a king salmon fly, this is a steelhead fly. That's, I'm not just making that up. I fished them for both, caught both on this fly. I read, I know what other guys fish, other ladies fish as well. If you're looking for a big profile, wiggly fly that's fairly light, this is going to do the trick. Now I'm going to finish this off with a cone and this is always an angsty place for me to go because I worry about have I cut too much off or have I not cut enough off so bear with me Take your lighter and you turn it sideways and I try to use basically the bluish part of the flame and that sucks that right down and then to make sure I'm going to be able to thread this I will open that up with a bodkin right now and I'll add my hook guide And typically, the small end of the hook guide goes on the back end of the cone. And then I would add a stinger hook to the back, like so. And here you have it, a tiger barred rabbit strip.